Honeymoon Hotspot Workers, what are your best and worst stories regarding newlyweds? Story 11. I'm in the evening maintenance at a resort and we get a call that a room has a light bulb out. Cool, something to do. So I hop on my one-speed golf cart and make my way to the room with a light bulb in hand. I arrive at said room and knock on the door and announce, Maintenance! I hear a man say, Come in! So I grab my keycard, swipe myself in, lo and behold, the hairiest Russian dude and his smoking hot wife jumping from the bed, buttoning up their drawers wide-eyed as deer in the headlights. I, 180, tractor beamed my eyeballs to the floor, apologized, and waited outside of the door. Harry the Russian opened the door, and instead of going to change the bulb, I said, here you go, just handed it to him, and hightailed it out of there. After long thought, I came to the conclusion he had said, coming, but I misheard behind all of his chest hair, and his accent. Story 12. I live in Las Vegas, and I used to work in one of the major casinos on the Strip. One night in one of our clubs during a wedding reception, one of my employees let me know that he had heard multiple people in a bathroom stall. The stalls had full doors so you couldn't see feet, but you could definitely hear some debauchery going on. I called security, and they asked the people to open the door. So, out comes a groomsman, followed by the bride, followed by the best man, followed by the groom, all half-naked. They proceeded to go right back to the reception like nothing had ever happened. I like that both the bride and the groom was involved. Story 13. I don't know why, but the maid decided to bust in two hours before checkout. Me and the woman were mid-doggy style, and she, not the maid, shot under the blanket so fast I was literally there with my dong in hand. I think we've all been there for this one. Except the maid was the girl's mom, and the girl was the girl's dog. I'm not sure what I just read. I didn't hit my stash early today, right? Nope. All good there. Okay, so this was just, uh... What? <laughs> Story 14. Sad alert. There was an anniversary at the lodge that I worked at for the couple's 50th. They had their whole family staying there for the big event. After the huge party, the not-so-newlywed bride had a heart attack and died mid-frick. Huge bummer for the husband, but maybe the best way to go? Wow, way to kill the mood. Story 15. I was in Mexico with my mother and sister as we were walking down an outdoor path in the resort. We saw a young girl crying and her boyfriend walking behind her frantically. They were both covered in cuts and bruises, surrounded by security and medical, and of course, on their honeymoon. I asked one of the staff what happened. The girl was having intercourse on their balcony and fell off. Apparently not too high off the ground, but high enough to be beaten and shook up. Story 16. Not quite honeymoon related, but I worked in a high-end hotel chain, and during the reception, I delivered cake, presents, champagne, and robes to the bridal suite. Having my own key and not expecting anyone in the room, I let myself in to find the mother of the groom and a groomsman having a little bit of fun on their own. Fair to say, I walked out quite quickly. Story 17. I'm currently on my honeymoon in Delhi, India, and we are from Northern Ireland, so we are not used to the diet. My new wife just vomited at the side of the road, and it's my birthday. Be glad I'm a fellow Norn ironer who has been to Delhi. I assure you that you will be crapping all the way home at the very least. Your vomiting wife is the least of your worries when your ticket for the flight home may as well list your seat as the toilet in accordance with how long you are sat upon it. Good lord, you folks need to broaden those palates and toughen up those tummies. A lifetime of eating like a cross between a college freshman and a permanently exhausted professional chef has steeled my stomach. Story 18. Not a honeymoon, but I do work at a resort. Approach the cabin door, knock three times. Housekeeping! Didn't get any sort of reply, so I opened the door and walked into two people fricking with ball gags in their mouths. Just doggy style, not even on the bed. Down on the floor, getting their liquid children all over the place. Story 19. I live on Maui and worked for a while at Enterprise Car Rental. Once I already had a new job lined up, I could get away with anything. This newlywed couple had an economy car reservation and wanted to upgrade to a Mustang convertible. It was supposed to be an extra $100 per day, which the guy could obviously not afford based on the look on his face when I told him. But I gave it to them anyway for free because there was sand in the front seat that I don't feel like vacuuming. They jumped up and down and hugged me and said I made their honeymoon. The feels. Story 20. In high school, I lived in a tourist town and worked at a video store. One night, a Mennonite couple came in and mentioned they were on their honeymoon. They rented Anne of Green Gables. 
Story 21. Got married in Hawaii, staying at a swanky resort. Late one afternoon, my wife was getting out of the shower and I had boxers on, lying in bed after a long day at the beach, when out of nowhere I hear the front door opening up. I thought it was my wife, she thought it was me, but in walks a couple with luggage and keycard in their hand asking what we are doing in their room. Needless to say, we were upgraded to an oceanfront suite for the rest of our stay due to the screw-up at the front desk. We were also given meals for the rest of our stay, and half our bill was also comped. The real question is, how do you make sure this happens on every vacation you go on? Hell, I'll let some strangers see me in my boxers if it gets me a room upgrade and free food. They can see me fully nude if that suite has a hot tub. Story 2. One time in the LAX airport, I saw a couple vehemently arguing and making accusations of fault about seat changes, flight plans, etc., all the way up to the boarding pass counter. Then when they got up to the counter, they explained politely and cheerfully to the flight attendant that they were on their way to their honeymoon and needed to check their seats. Story 23. I frequent natural hot springs in Alaska that have a high influx of Asian tourists and newlyweds during wintertime. The hot spring creates huge steam clouds that make the visibility very low while wading in waist-high water. Apparently, the newlyweds from Japan, I think, believe that consummating their marriage under the northern lights will give them a male child. So they go to the hot springs in the middle of winter when it's dark outside and frick in the water. It's really weird to be there waiting around and accidentally run into a couple of mating Asians in the water. Story 24. A while back, in the long, long ago, I worked at a four-star hotel. A couple came in for their honeymoon, but they forgot to bring in protection, and they didn't have any in their rooms, and the public toilet on the first floor was out. So the guy asked me in a frisky voice where he could procure himself some contraception. And I told him I would get him some. I went to the staff bathroom and got four for two dollars, yes, we get them cheaper, and brought them to him. He was so glad he gave me one hundred dollars for a tip. Story 25. When I was about ten, my family was in New York City for vacation, and we were walking down the sidewalk when we saw a man in a tux and a woman in a wedding dress arguing. When we stopped at the crosswalk, I overheard their argument, and the woman took off her ring and yelled at the guy, Well, why don't I just give that kid my ring if it doesn't mean crap to you? and pointed at me. The man quickly tried to hush her, but it didn't work as she started to yell louder. We got the heck out of there. You should have accepted the ring. You could have pawned it off for a lot of money for a ten-year-old. Story 26. I worked nights at the Anniversary Inn in Salt Lake City, Utah, through college. To save you a search, it's an overpriced theme room inn that Mormon newlyweds absolutely go batshoot crazy for. Want to spend your wedding night on a pirate ship? We got you covered. Egyptian tombs? Yep. So there have been many Mormon cherries popped while I was on shift and a ton of really weird, funny, and sad stories. Funny, 20 minutes after an obviously nervous newlywed couple check in, the husband opened the door and yelled, Freaking is awesome! He did this multiple times throughout the night, made us laugh every time. Weird slash creepy, we had a dad drive the newlywed couple to the inn and then come in to help them check in. Their kids were clearly adults, so I thought this was weird. Once they were checked in, the dad gave them a mini lecture about the sanctity and spirituality of intercourse and how what they were going to be doing that night and through their honeymoon would echo throughout the eternities. Super creepy. Sad. More than once, we would have brides come running from their rooms in robes, sobbing and in a totally delirious state. They weren't ready for intercourse, and it was clearly a traumatic experience for them. I always felt really bad for them, because it would be really difficult for someone who has been told that intercourse before marriage is evil to suddenly flip a switch and be expected to become an intimate being. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.